I work at the Department of Energy's Ukraine office in Kiev, which is based in the U.S. Embassy. And I represent all aspects of the department's and equities there, um, including nuclear security, nuclear energy, fossil energy, and renewables. There have been incidences of radiation being detected over Europe, and with that comes questions of what are the implications for our U.S. citizens living in those countries. Leaders and ambassadors would ask what was happening and what that meant for our policy and what kind of implications it had. And I really thought that maybe I could learn more about the science behind it so I could better inform our government and better uh, guide our policy in areas of, of you know, critical issues of nuclear security. When I decided to pursue a program in radiation health physics, I really wanted it to be something that I could dig into and that would challenge me so that I could come out of it really better able to advise my bosses. I chose Oregon State because they had faculty who were already involved in the fields that I was working in. Dr. Kathleen Hig Higley is a good example. She's my advisor, and my first time meeting her was actually in Washington, D.C. at the Department of Energy's headquarters where she was already coming to have some meetings. Radiation detection and overall nuclear nonproliferation are really vital things to manage because as increased numbers of people and goods cross borders, the ability to detect smuggling and detect uh, the movement of nuclear radioactive materials and also to understand where that material should be housed and who has responsibility for it is going to increasingly be an issue as we work towards global nuclear security.